Hi guys, welcome back. I'm creating a series of Webflow University lessons with tutorials on various different projects. So in today's lesson, I'm going to be, we're gonna be learning how to use Lightbox. And in this project, I definitely recommend, like always, to watch, to go through Webflow University and watch their videos <clears throat> because I may not explain it in such detail, but I do wanna walk through working on a project so we can learn, so we can watch and apply what we learned. So what we'll be doing is creating these three boxes. If you were to click on it, it shows the image close up and you can add a caption <clears throat> and you can group them together. So let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do, I will create a new blank slate. Give me one moment. Okay, so I just moved a little bit lower down the screen. And if you do want to learn how to create a form, check out my other video on how to create forms on Webflow. But for now, I'm going to create a new section. So control E, oops, control E section. And then within the section, you want to control E, add a container. See what happened? No, no, no. Help me. Help me. Not be muted. Oh shoot, why is my section inside this container? Take this section out. Okay, we'll be adding it at the bottom. So control E, add a container. And within this container, we're gonna add a grid. So we're gonna add three, one row of three. So you can delete this, right click and delete row. It's a little low, if you click done. Let's, let me add a bit of a margin at the bottom so I can see. Okay, so we're down here now and we're going to add our light box. So, within, so in the first grid, you wanna control E and add light box. That's your image. And now we're gonna input an image that I will drop a description down below so you can use those images. So within the image, you wanna hit the gear, choose an image, and I'll select this coffee cup. So now you have this coffee cup and now we're gonna style it so it's not as large. So if you go on the right-hand side, I am going to create the size, I believe 200. Wait, not percent, pixels. By 200 pixels. So it's a square, is it? Let me check. Okay, the size, okay, so that one's also 200. <clears throat> so within the image is 200 by 200. I'm going to zoom it out so it's a rectangle and then go to fit and you want it to cover so it doesn't stretch it out all wonky. And now we're gonna add some curved corners and a box shadow under effects. Increase the distance by a little bit, the blur so it's not too harsh. And the color, I like to lighten it up because gray is, I mean, black is a little too, too dark. For me. All right, so that is our first one, and I will copy and paste that through the other two boxes. Um, if you want to skip ahead, go ahead, but I'll just walk through it. So, what you want to do is click on the second box and type in light box. Because if you were to copy and paste it, it would only copy and paste the image. Sorry, I refreshed it. So, you don't want to do that. You want to make sure the light box is inside before copy and pasting the image. So, Control E, light box, and then Control E, light box. So again, you would like to choose your image on this one. Choose your image, which is coffee cup. Okay, 
Let me move my face out of the way. All right, so since we can use classes, so we don't have to change everything for every single one of them. So hit image and you want to put a class called light image, for example. And then you want to apply that to the other images. Light box image. Did I have a space earlier? I can't remember. Oh, I spelled light box wrong. Light box image. Okay. Oh, wait, it was called. Okay, so it default changed it to image five. So let me, let me. I just deleted the image. Hold on. Okay, so the edits are made on. Hold on. Let me fix this real quick. Okay, so I deleted that extra one. It was the changes that we made. That was 200, 200. And the box shadow is under the tag name image five, but you can um, name it however you like, but just make sure that you place the class with the other one so it's adjusted. Oops. Image five. Okay, right now it looks a little weird. All you have to do is drag it and there you have it. So the next thing that you want to do is go to the grid and make sure everything is centered. I think it seems like it's already in the center. So now how to actually make it work. What you want to do is click on the image, go to the gear, and on the right hand side under media you want to add the same images. And if you'd like, you can add a caption. For example, hi. I'm gonna just leave it at hi. Okay, so you can add a caption and then in order to link the three images together, you can create groups. So I want you to create group one or group three because my other one, I named it group one and two already. So group three, and just do that the same for the other one. So add your image, add a caption. If you'd like, you don't have to. And then keep the same group, three. And then this last one, two. Choose image and that one. Okay, so I'm gonna name this group number four, just so we can see the difference. So what should happen is that the coffee cup and this table should be in one group and the cereal should be not within that group. Just so we get the idea of how grouping works. All right, so if you were to preview at the top right with the eye, if you were to click on it, it should show a light box. So it just zooms it out. Um, it's really good for photography or anything else you might wanna use it for. As you can see at the bottom, it has the caption. So if you have photos, then you can um, credit those people that took the photo. As you can see, there's only two and the cereal will only have cereal. So you can use it in whatever way you'd like. You can also, so the photo that we have, that we, in, that we put in is like the thumbnail. And then the images are, let's see. The images are whatever media you add onto here. So for example, if we were to add different images, it will show different images within the light box. So let me show you an example. For example, rather than a coffee cup, I put an image of a corn or an image, I can add more images. 
and this plant and an image of this pancake. Okay, so let's see what happens. So what happens is that if you were to click onto here, it wouldn't have the coffee cup as the first one. It would show the pancake, the plants, and the corn. And then the reason why that's there is because we linked it to the other one. So that is just something that you can play around with. If you want to adjust the height of the light box, you can also change that here, or not here. Image settings. Yeah. I think you can change it here. So that is how you create a light box. I hope this project was helpful. It's very small and mini, but that's my goal. So if you liked it, if it was very helpful, please let me know so I can create more. Thank you.